welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna do things just ever so slightly differently I'm actually gonna sit down and talk to you guys while I do my hair but that's going to be a little bit later on in the video so I'm going to address like a pretty hot topic when it comes to social media and influencers of social media basically we all know that there is a pretty big struggle to find authentic content on social media or even to basically decipher what's authentic what's not what's real what's not you know everybody is kind of stuck on like whether it's a paid sponsorship so if it's paid is it really coming from the heart is it really something that you like is it really something that you use so I'm gonna kind of address the topic mainly as it pertains to me and just talk to you guys about how I try my best to stay authentic especially when it comes to social media so for one like over the years I had to kind of figure out who I was what I am really into and what I truly love and I incorporate that on my channel so hair makeup and fashion my channel is primarily centered around hair I think that when it comes to social media it's important to find out what it is that you really love or what it is that you're really good at and kind of take that and just run with it because if it's something that you're really really into it's going to be genuine either way it goes because it's something that you already love now if you're doing something that it's um it's kind of like outside of the box or kind of different for you then it's not necessarily it just might come off as a little bit faker even if it is something that you love because people aren't used to seeing that which i think is kind of like another tip especially one that I've used when it came to social media that you just sometimes you actually have to open up and you have to let people inside and kind of see who you are personally like outside of just the pictures on Instagram and the tutorials and the hair posts and then I think the last thing is to basically to develop a genuine concern for other people like you have to love people if you're going to be into social media and you want your posts to be real and authentic you have to be able to relate to regular real and authentic people or else it's just not going to work at all the thing that really attracts you to somebody else is a connection something that you guys have in common and it kind of has to be be beyond just the physical aspects it's easier to connect with somebody when y'all share like a personality trait that is similar or when they say something or when they go through something and you can directly relate to it it's kind of like you feel like you know that person so when it comes to social media i'm not saying like bless your business on social media i don't agree with that at all but there are some things that i think that are okay to share that kind of lets people in and then lastly i just think it's important to just like own your own style like whoever you are whatever you are just kind of own it i'm a very chill mellow person but i'm still pretty free spirited and I'm friendly but I'm kind of quiet at the same time like I don't know you just have to kind of be around me to kind of understand my personality but without further ado we're going to go ahead and get into this chatty talk through tutorial this line is exclusive to Sally's hi love so my hair is soaking wet and you're just gonna sit with me while I actually style it so I'm using the silk elements pure oils line and I'm gonna start off with the leave-in conditioner there is absolutely nothing on my hair. All I did was shampoo it and condition it. And yes, I'm on camera with a bare face, no makeup. This is my real skin. So I'm just gonna work this through and I am going to seal it with coconut oil. Of course, I'm using the lock method. So I'm sealing it with coconut oil. This method just works the best for my hair, especially in maintaining its moisture. Okay, so I'm going to basically do my go-to style, which is a twist out. You guys know that I've been doing that since I have been natural and my hair has been long enough to twist. So to do this twist out, I am going to use the Pure Oil Silk Elements Hair Butter that looks like this. I've used this maybe about three or four times so far. And it has kind of like a coconut oil texture, but it's a little bit thicker. It does emulsify when you put it on the hair. That's kind of like a gel to really style and hold the twist out. I'm going to use the Pure Oil Silk Element Moisturizing Marmalade. 
And this one is more or less like a jelly texture. It's kind of sticky, but it feels like aloe vera gel. Now, all of these products are meant to like hydrate. So I'm starting off first with the hair butter. And I'm just going to apply a little bit, but I'm mainly going to focus it on my ends. And then I'm going to follow it up with some of the marmalade. But I don't want to use too much because I don't want it to take forever to dry. And this is kind of making it feel like silky, a little slimy, but not gross in any way. And yes, this is a bit different for me. You know, earlier in the video, in the intro, I was talking about authenticity and basically just how to own your own style and I think that that is very very important especially when you are influencing other people in the world via social media you know it's very difficult to tell what's real and what's not and if you're not authentic I do feel like people can kind of see through that and to me authenticity is just basically it's is flat out honesty. Not just being honest with others, but also being honest with yourself. So I never really create <laughs> real parts because my hair is so thick you can actually never see them. And I do my twist outs pretty much the same way. So this is a routine. I detangle it with the dimming brush. I'm applying some of the butter. As you can see, I'm not using much. But what I do like about this butter is that it does emulsify in your hand. And so it just kind of it melts basically <laughs> and I feel like this combination is the best use the butter and then use the gel on top because the butter doesn't really have that much hold but the marmalade definitely does but yeah so back to owning your own style it's important that you kind of figure out who you are what you want to represent and then take it from there and go with it stick to it even if people don't necessarily respond in a positive manner at least you know that hey i'm being honest with you guys and i'm being honest with myself about who exactly i am and what i represent and what i'm about and how i'm just human just like you are you know we all make mistakes so looking at these twists you can tell i'm gonna do them kind of chunky they look so juicy and lush like so loves i am back this is my last twist and once again, I'm still following the same routine. I'm going to use the hair butter first. And just make sure you completely like saturate the sections with the butter. Someone's at the door. And then I'm going to apply the marmalade on top. And just twist it up. Okay, love. So I've let these twists sit for a day and overnight. And we're going to go ahead and take them down now i'm actually going to coat my fingertips with a little bit of the hair butter just because it's nice and light and it emulsifies and it'll give me a chance to basically add a little bit more moisture to the hair as i take it out i think the key to when you're doing any type of twist out or braid out is to actually let your hair properly dry that's going to be the only way that you get amazing results is if it fully dries that's really important okay so once i release the twist i'm just going to kind of stretch them out a little bit and then we're going to separate them i am not a person that is afraid of frizz at all so when i separate my twist i don't worry about disturbing the curl pattern especially not when my hair is completely dry it's no point because this style remember we use the marmalade on top of it so it's it's set so even with the frizz you're still going to have very very defined curls from the twist so i'm just going through and making sure that i separate each section each twist we're going to separate it in various sections just where it naturally wants to separate i'm not going to leave like any super super chunky sections so that i'll have the volume that i want especially with first day hair because that's pretty difficult so here's one side pretty much done and you can see the curl definition you can see the shine that it's added it's pretty bouncy and fluffy these butters like the pure oils hair butter it is made with coconut oil, shea and mango butters, 
which are great for moisture and they do claim to add shine this one also has kupuasu butter which helps to improve the manageability of your hair and I can definitely see that and then it's supposed to boost elasticity and soften the curl Now my curls are pretty soft right now they have a little bit of hold to them because of the marmalade now the marmalade also has coconut oil and shea butters in it and it's supposed to help nourish and moisturize and strengthen but it also has honey and passion fruit oil to help reduce frizz and shrinkage while adding the definition now I definitely see the definition in it and it is reducing the frizz I did get my hair cut in a bob so it is a lot shorter than what it was so I'm just gonna fluff because I just I like volume and this is an alternative to using a pick if you don't have a pick stick your fingers in your scalp and just shake it and then I'm just pulling my hair to shape it around my face this twist out is cute and look hands nice and shiny it's moisturized I love this I don't think that my hair needs anything else I'm gonna leave it like this this is a bomb first day twist out. I have the volume, I have the definition, I have the frizz, but it's still extremely curly despite how, how much manipulation I've actually done to it. So I love it. So loves, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Down below, I want you to basically leave a comment telling me how do you own your own style and if you are on social media, how do you maintain your authenticity? And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Make sure you check out the description bar for all of the details.